All right, <clears throat> so to keep things moving along, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up Google Firebase within our app uh, and Firestore in order to actually get it functioning. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the sign-up page and I'm gonna say import. I'm gonna add Firebase and I'm gonna add Firestore. Firestore, looks like it's actually implicit. So the reason I'm gonna do that now is I can go here and well, let's go ahead and actually create a Firestore uh, database. So I clicked on, I went to, so I'm at Project Overview, okay? And in Project Overview, I can click on, let me scroll down and click on Cloud Firestore. You can probably also go this way via database. Once you click there, you should be able to see it appear, Create Cloud Firestore Database. Start in test mode. And we will hit Next. Okay, make sure you only set this once. So I'm just going to pick U.S. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. So U.S. Central. It's default. Why not? Okay, so it's provisioning that. While it's doing that, let's go back over here. And let's do our first couple steps. So what we need to do right now is we need to create a new uh, variable here that we'll be able to change. That variable is going to be called document reference and that's going to essentially set up um, the the end target or end path of where we are going to be putting our our data that we're saving. So well, this is going to be of type document reference okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here let's look over here. So now that it's done setting up we have a database and it's of Cloud Firestore type and now we need to look at this sign up button. Okay, so within this sign up button, what we need to do is we need to create the data that we're going to save. So data to save. All right, and that is going to be of type string any. It's going to be a dictionary. That's what it is. That's going to be the key value pair type. And its value is just going to be the following. It's going to be. Uh, if we look here. We want every um, user to have username, a password, a UID, a name, and an email. So we'll have username, okay, now I'm going to do fast, we're going to just do some copy paste, username, password, UID, name, and email, okay, and we'll go back over here. And we will set up our password. We'll say name. And we'll say email. Okay, did we miss anything? We missed UID. And the reason we missed UID is the way it's going to work, the way I'm going to have it set up is that I'm, well, first let's just set these values. So it's going to be, uh, the first one will be username. It's going to be password. It's going to be name. And that's going to be email. You know, all that looks legit so far. <coughs> so all these need to say self because we're within a closure. There we go. And now that we have that, the next thing we need to do is we need to actually set this document reference. So we created this document reference, but we never actually used it. So the point of that is we're going to say the document reference, we're going to set where this information is stored. And the document is going to be, it's going to be equal to firestore dot firestore dot document. Okay. And I'm going to store all of our users in a collection called users. Okay. And the next part is going to be a little unintuitive. And I'm each one, the, um, the actual location of the document will be the UUID that we'll give them. So it'll be UUID. There. There Dot UUID string. So what that means is that I'm gonna I'm gonna save each of these users here. Let's go back to here. I'm gonna start a collection, and that collection is gonna have a bunch of documents inside of it. It's going to be a collection called users and inside of it is going to be a document, one document for every single user. This collection document uh, system can be a little confusing if you come from an SQL database world. So what I recommend you do is I'll put a link below for um, a good set of videos from Google uh, and Firebase themselves further uh, explaining kind of the NoSQL format data. So 
to make a change here, I need to do self dot because we're within a closure. Okay. And then the last thing I'm going to do here, so for myself, I like to do prints. So right here we'll say setting ref. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll say setting data. Because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say self dot document reference dot set data. Okay, and that data is going to be data to save. It's going to be this data that we compiled over here. And we're just going to set up some error handling here. And we're going to error in. We'll say if let error equals error print error equals string internal polarization right here. And we'll say else print no error. And that should take care of that. So now, if we go ahead, I'm going to do everything on a real simulator, not on canvases anymore, okay? So I'll hit play. I don't really know what this warning is about, but when we get moving, I'm sure it's going to go away. So we have a simulator. It's launching up. And I can already tell we have a fundamental issue, but we will see that in one second. You'll know it the minute you see it. If you've been following along um, perfectly, what you'll find is that we're not actually looking at the sign-up screen. We're not looking at the sign-up screen because what we forgot to do is we forgot to go to scene delegate here and say that uh, the, the root view, the first thing we're going to look at uh, is we need to make sure we, we're looking instead of right here where it says tab to root view. Let me find that. We can instead do the sign up view. So we'll say, let's say sign up view. It's going to be sign up. Put that there. Let's see. For tabs, just make sure we didn't miss anything. We didn't miss anything. So if we save it, now we run it, we should see the sign up view first. So now when we look here, there we go, we got the sign up. So let's go ahead and try to enter some data and create a new account. So you go to name, I'm gonna write my name is Chris G and email. Alright, it's gonna be let's say code. That's silly. All right. There we go. Code at chrisgurgis.com. Username we'll do CG. Right now, there's you know there's no uh, form validation, so I can write anything I want. I can just make it CG if I want. And then for password. I'm going to make it potato. All right. Now I'll hit sign up. And it says setting ref, setting data, no error. So if I got no error, I should be able to go here. I'm just going to refresh this here with the database. Sure enough, I have a new collection. That new collection will, it's a little slow. There we go. It has my email my name, my password, and my username, okay? And the document that stored all of that is going to be my unique identifier. That's my UUID right there, okay? So if I created a new user, let's say I did another one, I said, my name is, my name is Marina. And then I said, instead, it's gonna be, let's get rid of one of these. And my username is going to be mg. My password is potato2. I'll say sign up. And, you know, I don't have any way for me to know that it actually successfully worked because I didn't set that up yet. But sure enough, it did work because now we have two entries. My first entry 
and then I have my second entry. And these are random. This UUID is a universally unique identifier. So what that means is that there are no two of these anywhere. So sure enough, as you can see here, we have we created two new accounts and we have a fully functioning sign up page. And I think that is a really good place to, uh, to take a break and we'll continue on in the next video. But what I love about this is that we have officially integrated Firebase and Firestore into our Swift UI project. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.